Welcome to Walnut Grove. Do you even know where Walnut Grove is? You should. It's one of the fastest growing areas in all of the Lower Mainland. It's a spectacular place. Stay tuned, we're going for a tour right after this. Walnut Grove is a sub area of Langley and it's located north of the number one highway and at the 200th street exit. It's a cozy little neighborhood. It's a small town feel. Population's around 23,000 and a little bit. And I've sold a lot of homes out here and I enjoy coming out here. It's just the most quietest, calmest, unique little neighborhood nestled away. If you're even thinking of downsizing, there's ample opportunity here. Condos, homes, townhomes. And if you're looking to retire, there's a whole lot of 55 and over townhouse complexes out here. Spectacular. Walnut Grove is blessed with an abundance of things to do. As you can see, we're at Derby Reach Park today. It's a huge regional park, not even 10 minutes from the downtown area, say of Walnut Grove. And you can see there's running trails, hiking, picnic tables, and it's very, very popular. If you're an outdoor enthusiast, Walnut Grove is for you. With the opening of the Golden Ears Bridge in 2009, it even opened up this area way more. Now you have access to the north side of the Fraser River, and you can head off to Sasquatch to go skiing, or you can go to all the other parks and lakes that are located in the Maple Ridge area, only 30 minutes away. And if you're into wildlife and animals, there's a whole host to see, not just on the farm. Interesting tidbit about Derby Reach Park. In 1824, the Hudson's Bay Company built a fort here. Obviously it's not here anymore, but settlers came here a heck of a long time ago. One thing that's really exciting to do while you're out here in Walnut Grove is sturgeon fishing. And it's really exciting. And how do I know that? Because I went on one of these little ventures last summer. And I have to tell you, I caught a six foot sturgeon and boy, was that a lot of work hauling that thing in. Other friends of mine caught 10 and 11 footers. I had no idea, but the one I caught was roughly about 50 to 60 years old. The other ones were closer to 100 years old. They're prehistoric and they're endangered, so you can only catch and release. But it's something very exciting to do. Walnut Grove has a very small town feel. It's cozy. It's in an area all unto itself. And from the downtown kind of core of Walnut Grove, within five minutes, here you are out in the country. Peaceful, lots of parks, trails, golf courses. It's a calm, quiet escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. If you're an avid golfer, Walnut Grove has some really choice golf course tracks for you. One of them is the Redwoods, which is located just a few minutes outside of say the downtown core of Walnut Grove. Close proximity also is the Fort Langley Golf Course and the Belmont, which is another incredible track. A very popular attraction in Walnut Grove is the Walnut Grove Community Center. It is packed with lots of things for everybody to do, which includes a pool, sauna, hot tub, water park, steam room, plus you got a full gymnasium, ice rink, weight room, everything you could hope for at your fingertips. Located right next door to the Walnut Grove Senior Secondary is the Walnut Grove Community Park. It's a huge park with lots of things to do for the children. There's soccer playing fields, there's baseball diamonds, there's tennis courts, there's a Kinsman water park behind us, and a playground. Something for the whole family, right in your backyard. Walnut Grove 
is blessed with some very, very good schools. There are six elementary schools, two of which are French immersion. One is James Kennedy, which sits behind us, and the other one is Alex Hope. There's also a totally French school, which is the Ecole de Voyageur. Pardon my French. Located right beside the Walnut Grove Community Center is the Walnut Grove Senior Secondary, which is a massive school, but it has all the outdoor amenities, track, soccer, football, everything the kids could ever want for sports activities is located right next door. There's something for every child when it comes to outdoor activities. Walnut Grove has everything that you would ever possibly need, except maybe for a major department store, but everything else is here. Two major grocery stores and an abundance of other stores that you might require. And if you like takeout, there's no shortage of any of those either. A unique feature here though, is that there's lots of independent stores, very unique shops. So it's quite a cozy place to look around and shop. So that was our tour of Walnut Grove. We sure hope you enjoyed it as much as we did shooting it. For more area tours, click this playlist right up here. And thank you so much for watching. Have yourself an awesome day.